Well, we're so glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. Well, we all want to build the best life we can for ourselves and, of course, our families. And all that hard work deserves to be protected. Well, I spoke earlier with Kate Silburn. She is founder of Rocky Mountain Elder Law. They give families peace of mind by protecting their legacy. Well, it is a pleasure to welcome Kate to the studio this morning. Kate, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about why you are so passionate about elder law and what caused you to focus on this particular field. Well, I have an absolute passion for end of life care and end of life planning. I dropped out of high school to help my mom when she was dying and I was very active with folks who had AIDS in the 80s. I was in the fashion business and many, many of my friends passed away and then I became a hospice chaplain. My goodness, well, it's been such a journey for you and here you are today and obviously you do such important work. Now, what would you say are some of the common things you see when it comes to financial exploitation of those older adults? Well, I have a passion for helping at-risk adults and sadly, um, the most common element with financial exploitation is it's usually done by a family member. Mm. Um, often you find uh, someone anticipating their inheritance improperly. Um, they get the power of attorney, they put them their name on the account and suddenly there are improper use of grandma's money or her real estate. Oh, and see, that could be a very alarming situation because once you've got that power of attorney, it's a done deal, correct? It's a done deal. Oh. Um, however, I do reverse those transactions in my work and I, okay. do, I do go after the person who financially exploits at-risk adults and elderly people. Okay. Um, there's also the situation where it can be the handyman or the neighbor who gets the power of attorney and financially exploits. That is so hard to hear, and I'm so glad that you do this kind of work and you're able to reverse that kind of process. Now, what, what steps do you take to prevent that kind of financial exploitation? Well, the foundation for prevention is a good, solid estate plan. Mm -hmm. where fiduciaries, the people who are in charge that you choose, are people that you absolutely trust. Okay. And if you don't have someone you absolutely trust, then it should be uh, a third-party fiduciary, a professional fiduciary company who can help you navigate the um, issues surrounding your finances when you decline. Right. Now, the, the talk of all this, it could be complicated for, for a lot of people, especially as you get into those older years. Now, being a financial power of attorney, is a, it's a big deal, but what should someone look for before giving that power to another individual? What, what are the signs of this is the person I should work with? Trust. Okay. Absolute trust. Someone who you know is going to look out for your interests and not their own. That's key. Okay, so that is gonna be at top of mind. Now we hear about social security or bank information getting stolen all the time. What are the best ways older adults can keep their information safe? I mean, they've been targets for a while now. Yes, monitor, monitor, monitor. So set an alarm to look at your accounts every week and hopefully have another set of eyes on them, either your agent under your power of attorney or someone who's your financial planner say, I want some other eyes on my accounts to make sure there's no improper withdrawals or use of my money. Okay, see all important information. Well, give me a few steps that are crucial to take that someone who has an older adult in their life, an older grandma or a older parent, that they can step to start protecting them right now. Plan, plan, plan. Okay. An estate plan is critical to protection against financial exploitation. You wanna have those documents in place. You want to choose your fiduciaries consciously and with the intention that you trust them. Okay, and I, th those words are often said, but sometimes we don't get it done until it's too late. Great advice this morning, Kate. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. If you want to consult with Rocky Mountain Elder Law for yourself or a loved one, reach out today, 720-457-4573, or just go online, rockymountainelderlaw.com. They sponsored today's segment.